So what's up guys? Miles back with another video. On today's video, I got my notes over here, so that's why I'm looking over here. On today's video, I want to talk about the rat race and how real it is and how um, it really affects the next 20 to 10, 20, 30 years of your life, right? Especially as a young person. A lot of young people are in college or you're in high school and you don't really understand what the rat race is or how it affects your life and how it will affect your life and how it will affect your life in the future. Right? So, first of all, one of the first points I want to hit is, you know, the pyramid scheme of companies, right? Um, at the bottom, you got your, your core workers, your hard workers, they, they're the ones that do all the hard work for the people that come up, right? Then you got the next level that has your managers, your supervisors, and then on top of that, you have your regional or, you know, your other people that are above the supervisors and the managers, <clears throat> kind of your regional guys, and then on top of them you have the CEOs or you know the people that run that whole state or whatever it is, right? And so that's how every so when people say a, you know such and such is a pyramid scheme, I'm like everything's a pyramid scheme. You know you have to have leadership up top and you have to have workers at the bottom for the company to go you know what I'm saying you know but the kicker is is that if you want to go from down here to up there it's going to take you about 20 30 years right and do you have the time to waste do you have that time to do that are you really passionate about this job long enough to go up in that rank right because everything takes time right I mean you could move up pretty fast but um, you can you have to move across state lines to a different state to move up move up in that position that you want to be in. It's often time not going to be around the corner. It's going to have to be something drastic for you to move up. So just keep that in mind, right? And then this is my second point. I had as my last point. It's my second point. Um, you're overworked but not paid enough, right? Some of you guys are going to find out that you're, you know, you're working 60 hours a week, 60, 70 hours a week just to barely pay your bills, right? And that's where really the rat race is. You're working all these hours, but you don't have enough free time. You don't have enough vacation time or you don't have enough freedom to do what you want to do. You know, you have to work 90% of the time just because you, you have to to pay the bills, you know? And after you pay the bills, you don't have anything left, so you have to continually work and work and work and work. You never get ahead of life. You never have any money left over after you pay the bills to go travel, to go buy you something that you want to buy. You're constantly in a loop of working, 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 working. Right? Now, there's nothing wrong with working, you know, but do you want to work that way to the, for the next 20 to 30 40 years that's the question you have to ask yourself right now this is this is really annoying to me this this point right here the flaws and hierarchy oftentimes guys the people that are above you the supervisor or the manager the regional person you know whatever thing it is right you're going to run into, you know, some people that are really stupid in the higher up positions, right? They're not really smart. They're not really good at their job. They just knew the right CEO. They they were kidding somebody and that person that really liked their dad and, you know, that dad, their dad got them that job. It It's really not about, you know, how good you work, how good you are as a worker. Um, if you go that route, you're going to be up there. You're going, it's going to take you years for you to get the recognition for you to rise rise in the ranks fast enough <clears throat> for you to be noticed, right? When in reality, you can just know the right person and, you know, when that position comes available, you go talk to that person and, you know, the job is pretty much yours before you even went to the interview, right? And that's extremely annoying, right? Because if you're a quality worker, you're a quality person. And you take pride in what you do, and some person can just because they know somebody else just rise into that position. That's extremely annoying, right? And it's it's extremely annoying to be under somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. That's extremely annoying, right? That's why I couldn't be in the military because like if you have a bad sergeant, a bad captain, like that's your life. 
You know what I'm saying? And that leads into my next point. Nobody cares about quality. It's all about quantity. They don't care that you're doing quality work as much as it is you're putting out a whole bunch of output. You're putting a lot of production out. Right? It's extremely annoying. Like, when I'm in a warehouse and the people that are get that get championed or people that seem to get treated with the most respect are the people that work the hard like work extremely fast but knock stuff over but you know they're like hey i'd rather you knock a couple things over but you work extremely fast and you you know you may break something every once in a while but you know as long as you're moving fast that's all that matters right and then you got the workers over there that are, that are working at a good pace but they'll rewrap something they'll redo something but you know the person will be like hey you know you gotta hurry up we're trying to get this certain amount, we're trying to get this work done by a certain amount of time, right? This is why I'm talking about it. If you guys haven't watched my video of you're punished for being a good worker, that's an extremely insightful video for you guys to check out because it's extremely annoying. Because if you really care about your work, you really care about doing a good job, that's going to piss you off about the rat race and about working 9 to 5. And then lastly, guys, you're easily replaced. You know, if you quit tomorrow, then people aren't going to be like, oh, well, you know, uh, we want you to stay. Could we offer you something? They're going to easily just like, okay, bye. It's going to be like you never was there. It's like you never were there for five years. They're going to find somebody else, put somebody else in there, and it's, the business is going to continue to run. As a matter of fact, if you pay attention to the older people, they will actually force them out. For a younger person to take over and to do that job and do it more and put for more output, right? Like I said, it's not about quality, it's about quantity. And they would rather have that young person that, you know, may get into an accident here and there, but he puts out a whole bunch of quality for the company than to have this safe, to have this older guy that takes his time, that cares about the freight, cares about the customers, that, you know, it works a little bit slower but produces more quality work, right? They would rather push him out and put the other guy in. And that's extremely annoying. That's extremely disappointing. And it's extremely, you know, um, disheartening. It's like if you're a person like me that cares about what you do, cares about what you work, how you produce, um, you're going to find out it's not really valued like that. And that's extremely annoying. Like I've been saying this whole video, extremely annoying, extremely annoying. But that's my points, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video if you like the video. Um, comment below what you guys think about this below. Um, I'll be back with more videos. You guys stay focused on what you got to focus on. I love y'all. Be successful. Do what you got to do. We out.